One of the things I'm asked probably more than anything else actually is how to cook rice properly. A lot of people struggle to cook it without it coming out either undercooked or overcooked and a bit stodgy. So by following a few simple rules you can get perfect rice every time. Now the most important thing to start off with is to rinse the rice. You know it's rinsed when the water starts running clear and you'll see what I mean. Just put some water in there. If I just give that a little stir with my hand, you see that that water's gone milky almost instantly. And that's just washing off some of the starch. Without, if we don't do this, the rice will kind of stick together as a bit of a homogenous mass. So we're trying to, to rinse it off until that water runs clear. So three or four, you might need a few more rinses until that runs clear, which is when it's ready to start cooking. Now that water is running clear, it's been rinsed thoroughly, so it's just a case of topping that up, and it's about two centimetres above the level of the rice. Another way of doing it is, say you use a cup of rice, it's a cup and a half of water, and that brings you to around about the same place. So get that onto the hob, and we want to bring that up to the boil as quickly as possible, so on quite a high heat. And then what we do is when the majority of the water is cooked off, we put the lid on, drop it down to the lowest heat possible, and cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. Now don't be tempted to lift the lid and have a peek, just ignore that for the cooking period. So you can see there that all the water has evaporated off. And if I just run a fork through the rice, you'll see that it's cooked all the way through. And because we rinsed off all of that excess starch right at the start, it says individual grains, not this big kind of lumpy mess and more like porridge. So lovely fluffy rice. And just get that into a bowl. Now following the steps I've gone through, there's a few little tips. You actually can come up with a very, very different end result. One of them could be to cook the rice in chicken stock instead of just water. Or the other one is you could heat some oil in the pan and warm through some aromats, some cardamom seeds, some cloves, some cinnamon, and then fry the rice in that and then add the water so you actually get that wonderful pilau flavour going through the rice. So there you go, a few simple steps to ensure you get perfect rice every time.